Good morning, day 12. Things aren't going very well. I got more failures today. Um, I can't get my charger to turn on. I think the uh, cable's just up. Uh, I think the cable's just too um, marred up. I'm hoping it's just the cable, but I need to find one. Um, and it might have actually blown up the charger from the arcing from the cable. I sure hope not, but we'll have to see. I'm gonna get another cable and see if that fixes it. I'm gonna try to find one now anyways. There's in a tiny call, town called Arapahoe. And there's one little hardware store I'm gonna go check out now. Hopefully they'll have something. So I just stopped at this little wireless communications place. They do all kinds of different like telephone stuff and that and that. The uh, hardware store didn't have anything like that. This this kind of like hard general store didn't have anything like that. But luckily these guys with the cell phones and stuff. Uh, he went. He just went in the back room and just found an extra cable. So plugged it in. Sure enough, it's fine now. Uh, thank God. <laughs> I thought it would have been hosed. So now we're charging again at oh only eight amps. Well, I guess I'm already almost charged. Yeah. So, but either way, fast charger's back. Billion and Minkelman. You can hear the kids. It's actually a pool over there. Up at the pool, kids are playing. But uh, my strategy today is basically to just try to charge as fast as possible. And anytime it starts to taper down but lower than, say, about 10 amps, then I just take it off and keep going and hope it will stop again. But I'm a fairly rural part of Nebraska, so there's not a whole lot around. So it's a little bit of a I don't know, a little bit of a dicey proposition, but I really want to make some progress today. I still have like 200 and so over 200 miles, 220 miles or something to get to Denver, which is going to be really hard to do just tomorrow, so I really want to try to get as much as I can. But I did just gain another hour in the past. The past hour actually didn't cost me anything because <laughs> it went from 2 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Uh, as I went over some kind of date line thing, or uh, you know, some kind of time zone line. So, that's cool. At least there's that. And my new cable seems to be 130 miles so far. I'd love to do another 60. That'd be a little bit insane, but that'd be really good. It gets me to where I want to go, so if I can do this, charge real quick, half an hour, be done, and then do it again. And then do it again, and then do it again, and then do it again. Hopefully. And there's just, you can't ever tell if there's even going to be a town there. It's just going forever. And they're not, they don't even show up on the map until you zoom all the way in. So, it's crazy. It's a good charge spot though. I had to move it under the shade here. In another gazebo now, in another town about 30 miles away, it's called Hagler, and there was nothing between that gazebo and here, there was nothing. It was about 30 miles and nothing in between. It was awesome, but it's a little scary uh, range-wise, um, just because I'm trying to keep my charger at maximum, kind of keep everything optimized essentially so that I can keep going um, as much as possible but out here it should be I should wait to make sure the thing, stuff's topped off a little more but uh, this town has like one the get doesn't even have a gas station it has like a little um, it's like a one pump in a bunch of dirt and that's it and everything else is shut down and it looks like there's another one uh, town like another 20 or 30 miles west so hopefully that's I can at least get there or maybe a little bit farther but um, yeah, there's no, not a whole lot around here, but I don't even need a gas station. Just a little gazebo with the light that's turned on. Everything's good. 
It's hot. It's so hot. Everything's hot. My controller's hot. Uh, I got my my little cooling cooling uh, Red Bull can. Oh, also, middle of nowhere where we are. Not even cell phone signal. Nothing at all. Uh, no Verizon. No nothing. There's no gas station. I gotta be really careful about range. Really gotta be careful about range. So the, uh, earlier today, somebody in a tiny little town told me that there was a campsite here um, in town and I asked the, the girls at Dairy Queen after my delicious DQ blizzard um, if, they had, if they had one and she gave me directions here. It's just kind of like a public park. There's some hookups over there for like RVs kind of thing, um, but there's not really anywhere for a tent to necessarily camp, but I, I'm assuming this is probably okay right here. And my bike is right here. If you can see that, it's actually not at the camp, like the little poles where the camps are supposed to be because there isn't any grass, it's just dirt. And I don't wanna do that, I don't leave the bike there. So I figured I'd be better off just leaving my tent over here someplace that's in the nice grass and I don't know, cover up my bike. But there's, this is in the middle of a park, there's tons of people here still, even though it's like 9, 9.30. People playing volleyball over there. Um, there's a train that just went by. It's really loud. And there's a sweet skate park over there. We'll go check that out. I wish I brought my penny board. Pretty sweet little skate park. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, too. This is Yuma. It's called Yuma, Colorado. And there's so many people here. The kids are just... The kids are just playing on the half pipe without skateboards or anything. They're just sliding down the half pipe. So, this is kind of a shitty campsite. Cool, but I'm hoping it dies down a little bit just so I can, we can get some sleep a little bit, but... Either way, tomorrow's my birthday, and I'm gonna get up really fucking early, maybe like 4 a.m., maybe even earlier, whenever the sun rises, like an hour before sunrise, and get going, because uh, I want to make it to Denver tomorrow. I want to make it to Denver as early as possible. So, 157 miles left to go to Denver. Did almost 200 miles today. Um, and it was pretty cool. Uh, it's up and down as always. It's up and down. It's just hard. It was hot today. It got really hot. Got into the 90s. Everything was hot. I wonder how the controller is. Is the controller still hot? Yeah, it's still warm. But it gets as hot sitting in the sun almost. It almost doesn't even matter so much the current I'm putting through. It's just like sitting in the sun. It's already hot and then it gets hotter. But So it was a weird campsite. Definitely a weird campsite. But uh, I've, been, I've done worse. So we'll see what happens. I'm only going to be here for a few hours anyway. So it'll take me longer just to freaking set up. Take my tent down than it will to sleep. So anyway, Denver tomorrow hopefully.